Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be doing a book review. We're going to be going over Nordstrom's Guide to Men's Everyday Dressing, and this is by Mr. Tom Julian, and I'm going to go ahead and give you my feedback on this pretty quick, but before, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel big link right above there it says subscribe as we're putting out a lot of videos and I don't want you to miss any these will be delivered right to your inbox and that's a great way to stay in touch I don't think it's too obtrusive and uh, it helps me know if you know you people like these videos and uh, I would appreciate it so let's go ahead and jump into the book overall I'm gonna give this book four out of five stars and I think it's a good read it uh, is a smaller book, so whenever I received this, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger. As you can see, it's not uh, not a huge volume here, but it is what it is, and I liked it. And I'm going to tell you why I give it overall a very positive rating and how I think it could be improved. So if Nordstrom's is listening, perhaps they're going to put out a uh, out a better volume here soon. Okay, so it is exactly what it says it is. It's about everyday dressing. So this isn't about wearing a suit. This isn't about wearing athletic wear. This isn't about black tie. This is about everyday wear. And that's where I really like this book because there's a lot of other books out there, Gentleman by Bernhard Rodsell or Dressing the Man by Alan Flusser, anything by Alan Flusser. He's going to be a bit more formal and he's going to talk about sports jackets, blazers, suits, black tie, a lot of that which for many men they just feel that doesn't pertain to me. I don't dress like that. So for the average Joe, this is a great book because, you know, it's really about everyday wear. I see a lot of, I mean, these guys are about dressing sharp, but they're dressing sharp in a very casual manner. So that's what this book is. And that's why I think it's great. It's a lot of information. So even though I just showed you the size of that book, it's 100 pages long and it is packed full of information. So there's like 500 little images in there. And so they get it, but it's at least the copy I have. It They're crisp, they're clean. So I could easily, even though the images are really small, I could easily understand what the message they're trying to convey. Um, the information is solid. So Julian's done a great job. Uh, overall, I, I I found very few, I, I found things I would disagree with, but there there was nothing really that I say, you know, this is blatantly wrong. So overall, the information is solid. And I feel it's a really good lookbook. So to look through this to give you a lot of ideas. And that's where I feel, so let me go ahead and jump quickly into the negatives. All the models, you know, and, and it's funny, it's interesting, at the beginning they talk about the different body types, but all the models through there have the model body type, the ideal male, which I would say maybe only 10% of, of the U.S. male population has this, and, and that's that's very uh, you know being very generous there. But most of us, the clothing they show a lot of times, it's not actually going to work for us, and, and that's the the big downfall. So they give you all of these outfits, but they go for a very particular body type, and they don't specify how. If you're just a heavier set man or if you're really tall and thin, how this particular style may not look good on you and you should avoid it. So that's where I felt this fell down. But I mean, how much can you put in 100 pages? Also, there really wasn't a system. So as I was going through this, they were telling me, showing me all these options, and it had a pretty good breakout in the table of contents, but I didn't feel like they really put forth a system, how to combine things. Like I saw one outfit put together, but I didn't get an idea of how to how to change it up and what what's you know what could I move in and out of this outfit and still be able to wear it. Um, and when it comes down to it, I mean, it really just was a lookbook. The price on the back of it was $18. Now, you could technically get two years of Esquire magazine cheaper than what, what you got that. I mean, you can find this book much, you know, well below $20 on Amazon. And even if it was $20, I think it would be worth an investment because of its sole focus on casual wear. But, you know, I, I do feel that if you, you know, you subscribe to Esquire that you, you may not need this book. So, you know, that that's about it. Again, I give it four out of five stars. If, you know, it's not one of my top 10 books, but it is probably, it's a good book. And if you're, if you dress normally very casual, this is probably a good book for you, especially if you've got a good athletic body, then this is a great book for you. 
Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. And by the way, if you haven't been to my website, Real Men Real Style, go check it out. I, I link to it down below. And the reason you want to go to the website is we give away a free 47 page ebook free 80 minute audio. This is great stuff. Every day I get a thank you. People saying, I can't believe you're giving this away for free. And sometimes I'm like, well, I can't believe it either. Maybe I should be charging for it. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to charge for that ebook, but it is something that uh, I think you're really going to enjoy if you enjoy learning about men's style and if you want to dress better. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.